Listen. Got a sec? Nothing to report. Come to think of it. Listen for a spell. Is my favorite. For me? Really? Well, that's very kind of you. 
Let's eat it together. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. How did you know I like this? Oh, yes. This is definitely one of the foods I love. Come back whenever you're hungry. I wish this was for something besides war. Can't wait to see how you do.
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Things await me. I think I'm improving. And I'll keep getting stronger, too. Maybe this will help keep me on an even keel. Accept the gifts you're given. For Bridget, I find strength to carry on. I won't let this stand in the way of my love. Strength and beauty. What a pair. Death grows distant. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Help you? What do you think? Right on. Hmm. carry a little of everything here. Hope to see you again soon. Hey there. Welcome. Well, hello there. Thanks a bunch. Construction comes at a high price. Hey, new power! All right! Who knew 
this power slept within. What a fascinating power. I imagine this will serve me well. This power will serve me in the times to come. This power will serve me in the times to come. This is quite fascinating. This is quite fascinating. Can't let this power go unused. Hope this is good for something. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. Well, oh, look at that. A new power is now being mine. I'll surely put this to good use. One step at a time. I think I'm getting the hang of this. A useful skill. A useful skill. Don't neglect your daily studies. Nice one. Hmm. a moment. Well, well. That reminds me.
Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Battlefield are you headed to? We'll soon arrive at Baron Mateus' lands. Once we claim them, all of Western Fargus, roughly one-third of the kingdom's territory, will be- House Mateus was demoted from a Viscountcy to a Baronage for their part in some sort of revolt. The current Baron Mateus, whose father was the previous Lord, is hardly the most loyal subject of the Crown. Removing him from the picture should be a simple matter. However, the Kingdom has sent the Baron help in the form of the former Duke Fraldarius, who they call the Shield of Fargus. So long as he holds authority here, we won't be able to break their soldier solidarity. Rodrigue is Felix's father, right? That's unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, I'll fight whoever I need to. It just feels like we're pitted against familiar faces every time we turn around. And that isn't all. Our reports indicate the enemy has hired Gerald's mercenaries. We know from personal experience how formidable those foes can be. The Ashen Demon again. Say, that reminds me. What are you planning to do about that exactly? We can't keep letting one mercenary mess with our whole army. So just watch. I'm gonna take that monster out once and for all. Or at least... That hesitance doesn't suit you. Not anymore. You're far stronger than the last time your paths crossed. Just say the words and I'll give you all the power I can muster. We will prevail. I possess skill at leading surprise attacks. And Bernadetta would be making a good decoy. If we are all working together, we will reach our goal with much ease. I get a say in this whole decoy plan, right? I was only saying a fact, not asking you to be doing it. Please accept my apologies. Oh, okay. I hope you plan to leave some of the enemy for me. 
You are all so skilled. I often feel like the fifth wheel on a well-crafted carriage. Don't downplay your talents, Ferdinand. You give us courage every time we step on the field. I'm lucky to be surrounded by so many gifted leaders. With all of you at my side, there is no limit to what the Empire might achieve in the years to come. Victory to the Empire! Yay! Come on, Arval. Seriously? You can't drag me off to sleep like this when the battle's about to start. Sorry, but we need to talk. Do you remember the warning I once gave you? Well, I've been struck by a similar premonition now. Something feels wrong. Very wrong. The last time this happened, the Ashen Demon showed up and nearly sent me to an early grave. You think the same thing's gonna happen today? Hard to say for sure. But the feeling's worse this time around. Stronger. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're on the cusp of something terrible, an act far more dangerous than we previously imagined. Well, whatever's happening, I'm just gonna have to stop it. So long as you don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger, yes. Remember, your death would cut both of our destinies far too short. Get this over with. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. Follow me, soldiers of the Empire. Our enemy has placed Baron Mateus front and center. Mine. All time. Gerald's mercenaries are over Watch with the main this. position. Enter we have no option but to defeat the enemy commander, Rodriguez. Anything beyond that, however, requires careful consideration. Out of the way! It will take time to ready a path to the shore. Until then, let us begin by attacking the plain to the west. Here. No! I'm too young to die! <laughs> now there's a pitiful man. You're the lord of these lands. Show some pride! Shore up your defenses! Do not permit the enemy to break through! Take this! If we take down the stronghold surrounding the bear, we might convince him to lay down his arms. Approach me! The enemy is clearly desperate. Though, it's 
projectiles will admittedly slow us down. Northwest and finish that path to the shoal. Uh, I knew the Baron wasn't up to the task. We'll have to forestall the enemy ourselves. Move out and attack.
Showstopping. Hand them a victory, and I'm not going to back down now. He's at least some reasonable. If we can pin him down, I think he'll listen. Face. 
here, I thought I'd kill something. I might actually kill you this time. Kill me? I'm tougher than I look. I really blew it this time. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Mom. I must stop the enemy here. We've cleared a way to the shoal. We can attack from the east now. Finally, form a pincer and bear down on Roderick's position from both sides. I won't last long trying to hold them off from two directions. We've come to help, Lord Roderick. And not a moment too soon. Let's show them the steel Fargus is made of. It will give our units their powerful advantage. I bear you no ill will, but it was your choice to come within striking distance. Yeah. If you can. Yeah. 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 
this. Not again. You have to get out of here. Happy to see the demon flee, but that erratic behavior concerns me. Here for me? You must be eager to die. Like you finally beat me. About time my luck ran out. Guess I'm overdue. The rest is up to you, kid. I defeated the Blade Breaker. I can't believe it. Randolph! Don't worry about me. Just go. Hurry! I won't! Please, Flesh! No! How? How could... 
could you? You monster! Hey! gone forever. It's all my fault. Enough. You know that's not true. But he could have escaped. And that's why that... that... In that case, the fault is mine. I had the Ashen Demon cornered and couldn't close the deal. And then Gerald gave me so much trouble that I wasn't able to reach you in time. I could have prevented all this if I'd just been a little quicker. A little... That's not true. You saved me. That wasn't me. It was Randolph. He gave his life for yours. No. No, I... I know there's nothing I can say that's gonna help. So instead, I'll let my sword do the talking. When I cut the Ashen Demon down... You're more than capable of it, too. You had that monster right in your grasp. I only wish my premonition hadn't come true. Gerald's... gone? No. This is all my fault. I let them walk all over me. I left him unprotected. I'm sorry, Captain. It is what it is. Mercenaries live short lives. It did not have to be like this. Had you not scorned my strength... The Captain was a true type. <sighs> there is a way to solve this woe. Just grant to me your worldly flesh, we must now send the whelp that killed your father to an early grave. Do you mind taking command for a while, Heloise? There's something I need to do. Well, yes, of course, but surely I can aid you. No, this task is mine alone. Very well. But don't you d <sighs> Former Duke Fraldarius has been defeated. Now Mateus' territory and all the western lands of Fargus will yield as one to the Empire. Still, this battle came at a far greater cost than we are used to paying. This is the most dead and wounded we have ever faced in a battle. Not to mention the loss of General Randolph. And yet, we might finally be rid of one of the greatest thorns in our collective side. Eliminating Captain Geralt was a masterstroke. We are lucky. His band will fall apart without him. Or it may throw them into a vengeful fury that makes them stronger and more united than ever. That's going to be a problem, especially with the Ashen Demon still roaming the land unchecked. An intriguing figure, that one. And a crest bearer for certain. We'd be smart to step lightly. Guess that explains where all the awesome power is coming from. But the Ashen Demon doesn't strike me as nobility, and only nobles have crests. I'd posit the man standing next to you doesn't exactly exude nobility either. The demon's hair exhibits new color. It is like something from one of Bridget's old stories. One will be chosen by the spirits and granted their protection. And with that protection, great power. Can I just go on the record and say no to vengeance? I have zero interest in being revenged upon. That's the risk one takes when entering battle, Bernadetta. Sadly, you can't take up arms and not expect reprisal. We have no control over whether they come for us or not. We can only control what we do next. No way! No one's making me take my medicine! If you insist on continuing to interrupt Her Majesty, you will have 
far more immediate things to fear than an enemy's nebulous vengeance. Come to think of it, has anyone seen our mercenary friend? I know what I told Fleisch, but did I really do the right thing? Of course. You did what no one else could. The Ashen Demon may have escaped, but you got rid of their captain. There's no question you've grown, and next time, the Ashen Demon will fall. But so many people died, including Randolph. A price must always be paid for victory. And besides, Randolph is just one man. One man who was hand-picked by Edelgard, just like me. One man who shared all of our struggles. He was a good man, and a fine ally. And now he's dead because of me. I had no idea you cared so much. All the more reason to finish what you started. You can still make this death mean something, and I can give you the strength to do so. Now cheer up! Seeing you sad like this makes me... Makes you what? Yes, it makes me very... something. Tight in the chest. Anyway, stop frowning at me. I don't like it. No matter what anyone else tells you, I'm the closest ally you have. Remember, we're partners in destiny. Are you prepared for this? Honestly, I don't know. Geralt wouldn't want this. He didn't believe in vengeance for vengeance's sake. Indeed. You could not be more right. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you want. <sighs> I could do this by force, you know. Be grateful then that I asked for your leave at all. You're right. This has to come from me. And I accept your power. Help me win, no matter what it takes. Ah, yes. You shall make a most worthy vessel after all. And now, behold all that I have discovered at the edge of time. Scarlet Blaze. Heroic Bloodlines. Through a new pact with the Leicester Alliance, Edelgard can direct her might at the kingdom, and though it comes at no small price, her forces steadily gain the upper hand. But the kingdom does not stand idly by. Dimitri rallies the Western Lords, led by House Dominic, blood of one of the ten elites, in a last-ditch effort to forestall the Empire. No, brother. Anything but that. You cannot force the relic onto Annette. Calm yourself. I've nearly bade her wield it, not sent her rushing off into the teeth of the enemy. It's all right, Father. I know I'm the only one who can do this. Just seeing the crest of Dominic and our hero's relic is going to improve everyone's morale. It shames me to thrust this task on you, when it should have fallen to that craven son of mine. Yes, I doubt we can expect Simon to return and wield the relic considering how quickly he abandoned us. It seems I raised him poorly, yes. I should have taught him how our house managed to survive this long without starving or freezing. Don't look so sad, Uncle. I'll gladly carry the burden until Simon returns. But, Annette... Enough, Father. Stop worrying. After all, this is nothing compared to what the soldiers are going through at the front. So many people are fighting and dying out there. Some of them my good friends. I'm not going to cower in safety while they struggle. Especially... Forgive me, Annette. If you sense any danger at all, child, promise me that you'll run. I know, Father. So let's just all do the best we can to keep our land safe. The nearer we get to Blathed territory, the more resistance we're likely to face. The lords surrounding the capital are the most loyal to the crown. We have Geraint, Enid, Brennius, and Bellinus. There is no telling whether these houses will choose subjection or destruction. Regardless, we cannot simply ignore them as we attempt to march on the capital. We must seize control of each of their lands and establish footholds before continuing on. The Alliance is still doing everything we expected of them. There are no changes on that front. 
So as long as we continue tightening the vice around the kingdom, we're certain to fulfill your majesty's goals. Glad to hear it about the Alliance. Does this mean the war will be over soon? I feel some actual motivation coming on. Well, in that case... Nope, nope, never mind, motivation gone. That was a close one, Bernadetta. You almost got yourself assigned to the front lines. As for me, you know what to do. Just put me right at the front and let me start wrecking. We shall see who does more wrecking of stuff, Kaspar. I will not be letting you outshine me. Watch as I am bringing glory to Bridget and the Empire on the battlefield. <laughs> I wonder if I'll find someone worth marrying before this war is over. Of course you will, Dorothea. You're amazing. Enough. It's easy to let your guard down when the end is in sight, and we can't fall victim to that. Stay disciplined, and together we will take Fodlan's future in hand. Don't worry, Edelgard. We're ready to get this done. That goes doubly so for me. I must ready myself for the final clash that looms in the coming days. Right then. Let's start by taking care of the enemy in front of us. Brilliant idea. What do you think of this? Hey, so hear me out. I'll do what I can. Shall we? Perfect timing, Caspar. I was just looking for you. You were? Oh, I get it. You want to go a few rounds, huh? Fine. We'll take you down without even breaking a sweat. Well, no. I mean, okay, yes, at some point. But that's not what I'm here for. Your dad's around, right? I was sort of hoping I could get a session in with him. You know, a little lesson from the Minister of Military Affairs himself. Yeah, you might not want to do that. Why not? You're training with him, aren't you? Well, sure, but I've been doing that since I could barely even talk. And it still knocks my backside into next month. A regular person like you wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> what about this looks regular to you? Come on, I'm serious. Don't say I didn't warn you. You want my advice? Don't eat anything beforehand if you don't want to be cleaning it off your armor later. Oh, and uh, cancel all your plans for after, because I can guarantee you are not going to make them. Just keep that in mind, okay? Come on, is it really that bad? I appreciate the advice, but I think I'll be fine. Hey, better to be ready than get blindsided by the pain. Trust me, I've lived it. Training with my father? It's a marathon of blood, sweat, and tears that'll leave you feeling like you're face to face with the goddess herself. Uh -huh. Hey, you still alive? I can't feel my legs. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You're just out of energy is all. You know, my father praised you. Nobody's ever kept up with him as long as you did. Apparently, he's gonna come up with even tougher training now. Though I really wish he wouldn't. I think I underestimated you, Caspar. I don't know how you can handle training like that. Ever. Getting used to it was kind of my only choice growing up. I mean, I'm not as clever as you, so I had to make up for it by being tough as nails. That's why I'm always so gung-ho about getting stronger. Though, I don't know if that's really the most efficient way to go about it. No, that training. Efficiency has nothing to do with it. I think I get where that unwavering focus of yours... Yeah? Well, in any case, I'm glad you're still alive and kicking. Our enemies aren't gonna know what hit them next time we get out on the battlefield. <laughs> you know, it's a nice change of pace seeing you like this. Please don't laugh at my pain. Hmm. 
Yes, that looks right. Why, hello, Linhart. And it's not often I find you drawing outside. I'm not drawing. I'm simply trying to capture this wyvern's form. See? It's resting on that hill over there. Ah, an extraordinary sight indeed. Now then, let us see what you have done so far. I must say, it feels as though something is lacking in your work. Uh, how can I describe it? Your depiction is almost too accurate. Uh, take these scales, for example. Why, they could have been plucked from the very wyvern itself. I told you this isn't art. I'm doing it for my research. And when conducting research, it's always best to have precise references. The same is true when dealing with numbers or gathering information. I see. So you value accuracy above all else. Right. Honestly, I've never quite understood art anyway. So I'm perfectly content leaving that sort of thing to the true creatives. You know, the quirky ones. People like Bernadetta. Even so, there may come a day when your work is seen as the craft of a master artisan. When such precision is lauded as the height of aesthetic genius. What makes you say that? Oh, merely a passing thought. Perhaps in the distant future, connoisseurs will value accuracy and attention to detail over the magnificent interpretive pieces we hold dear today. Do you really think that'll happen, though? I doubt people will ever stop appreciating the ancient classics. You certainly have always done so. Yes, there is no denying that. But I fear my own personal inclinations hold little sway over public opinion. Nobody knows what trends may arise in the decades and centuries to come. So I can indeed envision a future in which accurate depictions are praised just the same as the greats of old. And I, I don't get it. How are you so optimistic all the time? It's like you're constantly looking toward the future. I could say quite the same about you. I have always believed you to be rather forward-thinking. That's not optimism, though. All I'm thinking forward to is the time when I can just sleep the days away. That's why I'm forcing myself to be as active as I can now. Regrettably, those halcyon days of slumber are still but a distant dream. I have much work for you, both now and further down the road. To begin with, might I ask you to paint my portrait? For the last time, I'm a researcher, not an artist. Are you sure you want such a faithful depiction? That is exactly what I want. How else would my yet unborn descendants know the true visage of the great Ferdinand von Eyer? Indeed, I would be proud to submit myself as a subject of your research. Consider it a study in the personification of nobility itself. Uh, don't get ahead of I'm fine drawing you, but I don't have the slightest modicum of interest in actually... Though, I do sometimes wonder where you get all that unabashed confidence from. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. I may be of further service. Hmm. 
Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Time to work you into shape. Yes, I'll have to difference between victory and defeat. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Bye. 
Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. I carry a little of everything here. Hope to see you again soon. Greetings, friend. is the true enemy. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. This surprise pleases me. How did you know this was my favorite? Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not... This... for me? Really? Come back whenever you're hungry! Care to make yourself useful? on you both. I will finish it summarily. And you need me for this? We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful?
Counting on you both. Let's get it done. You have not to worry about with me on the job. We all must do our fair share. Is something wrong, Ferdinand? You're staring quite intently at those plants while you water them. I was merely reflecting on something I saw long ago in Enbar. Oh? What would that be? In truth, it is nothing noteworthy. Back when I was a child, I saw a water nymph dancing and singing in a fountain along the main street. She was radiant, brilliant in the dewy light of the sun. But as an immature young lad, I grew a- Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. And you're sure of what you saw? A water nymph? Absolutely. Her song resonated within me. It was a bucolic tune sung by common folk around the capital. As I recall, she had not been wearing so much as a scrap of clothing. Anyway, once I finally mustered up the courage to return, the nymph had vanished. Such a tale hardly seems possible. What? That's the reason Ferdy ran away that day? No way. I've been wrong about him this whole time? I mean, considering how I must have looked in that fountain... Oh no... Uh, I can't even begin to face him right now! I have to go back! Hmm? Is that Dorothea? I wonder what she's doing over there. Uh, he's seen me! All right, Dorothea, just be calm. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Why, if it isn't Ferdy and Aidy, what a coincidence to bump into the two of you here. Uh, Dorothea, your face is red. Yes, indeed it is. Do you have a fever? Really? Um, uh, I feel fine, but... Well, I was just coming to check on things, but since it all checks out, I'll be going. Bye! Wait, you could suddenly take a turn for the worse. So, I will escort you back. No, I'm fine. I'm not going far. Yet yeah, still too far to travel alone. If something were to happen to you, it would already be too late. Come now, take my arm. Or if it please you, I could carry you there. Enough! I am perfectly fine, so just mind your own business and stay away from me. No one appreciates obstinance, Ferdinand. Apologies. Although, given the intensity of her rebuff, I worry she may not have liked me to begin with. Have I committed some grave wrong against her? What should I do? Care to make yourself useful? We all must do our fair share. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Oh, this looks great. I'm gonna demolish this puppy for sure. <laughs> I see someone has been digging into my culinary preferences. Well, who am I to say no? Come back whenever you're hungry.
rồi Got a minute Listen. Supplies are the lifeblood. Everything has its use. Excuse me. Is that okay? Hmm. How can I serve? Got a sec? Please be listening. Hey there. Need something? Is this it? Something. Is this it?
Need something? Is this it? See you around. My instruction comes at a high price. Don't neglect your daily studies. How can I serve? Greetings. Come to think of it. Let's see. service. Which battlefield are you headed to?
another day, another stage to conquer. For the future that's yet to come. Why can't you just let me stay inside? Let's earn our key. I don't want to get left behind while I'm stuck hiding in my room. I'll help you to the best of my ability. Meager though it may be. Ready? Here goes! to another battle. It's a vicious I gotta keep up with you. I 
I won't ever forget your kindness. Don't mind if I do. I'll fight to the last! This is on you! This will really demoralize our enemies. Hubert, have you learned anything about my father's whereabouts? Nothing. We've not the faintest idea what he is up to. If we are lucky, he will be naught but a corpse by the wayside. I know that sounds cruel, but frankly, his death would do us a great service. You remain as blunt as the blacksmith's anvil. I still think it for the best if he is taken into custody and given a fair trial under imperial law. And yet, at times, a different thought manages to creep in around the edges of my mind. There is a part of me, a very small part, granted, 
A man can strive for a bucolic life all he wants, but he will never have it. Adrastia looks to be at peace, but beneath the surface, many disagree with the Emperor's ways. Make no mistake. These dis- Yes, I suppose he will never stop being the former Prime Minister, and- But to frame it as you do. I am right. And you- Once a man strays from the path. I disagree. I believe we all deserve a second chance. In any case, if you find out anything about my father, be sure to inform me. I almost wish they did prop the man up. Because perhaps then... Ah, but no. Either way, it seems I will have to start taking more serious precautions. I only hope he can settle things with his father in one manner or the other. to doze off. I just know it. Put me in there and watch our enemies fly! The fight starts now. I'm Caspar the Iron Wall! Sorry, kind of got caught up in the moment there. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. if I were to die here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shows up to a good party on time. We can't let it end like this. We can't let it end like this. I need to see the purpose of all this. Does I won't. a giant waste of everyone's time, but I've got an idea. Hey there! 
Welcome. Well, hello there. Nothing but the best for you. 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 Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Come back soon. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Excuse me. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Right. Only you would ask the M. Let's be off. Do you enjoy the sound of the water? I suppose I can take or leave them. Although there is a particular seafood dish that's near to my heart. Tell me if you see any pretty flowers. Not to pluck, mind you, just to admire. to do. I don't object to swords or magic, but an axe has always felt most natural in my hand. I'm not sure why. Oh? My dream is to sit about and simply do nothing. Sadly, there's so much demanded of me, it will likely remain a dream until my final days. Right. Back to work then. You and I... Need something? Is this it? See you around. Battlefield are you headed to? Bye. 
This war is ours to be won. Understood. Why can't you just let me stay inside? The fight starts now. Run away as fast as you can! We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. Use your help here! A little short-handed. Standing when the battle's over. You have improved. Perhaps your blade will be the one to finally. No. Forget it. Let's do this! Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Take no pleasure in this fight, and neither will you. Listen, 
simply cannot thank you enough. No one's gonna call me Bernie Bear again. Nice one. That's tough to take. Always another chance. I must press on. What you think? <laughs> <laughs> 